Yes. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. I'm opening the session. And thank you, first of all, Jennifer, for the very nice introduction. And let's just dive into the presentation. And first of all, who we are. So we are Sunlight Group. We are a company that has more than 30 years of experience on the development of battery systems. And we are mainly focused on two battery technologies. Uh, this is lead acid and lithium. These two technologies are manufactured in, in six manufacturing plants. There are two in Greece, uh, one uh, two in Greece in, let's say, northern Greece, in Xanti region. We have two more in Italy and two in the United States. To give you also an idea, the plant that we have in uh, Xanti, in the northern region of Greece, on the lead acid, is the biggest of its kind. It's producing more than six gigawatt hours of lead acid cells that are used on the industrial mobility and also on the energy storage systems. In total, the group employs more than 1,600 employees, and we have, for this reason, three R&D hubs. The two that we are mostly going to focus today are on the lithium side, and this one is one in Athens and one in Xanti, and we employ more than 100 engineers and scientists. So we are, uh, don't consider ourselves a Greek company. We consider ourselves an international company with uh, main production, main facilities in Greece. And that you can see also from our uh, percentage of uh, revenue generated in Greece. We have less than 2% revenue generated in Greece and the 98% is all from exports. Exports all around the world with more than 115 countries and presence in many of them. Both subsidiaries, distribution, after sales and so on. So, of course, on our, um, on our business strategy and our vision, um, uh, the sustainable development is a key topic. We do try to be uh, compliant with all our ESG targets, and they are, first of all, we try to be a pillar in the communities where we operate. We are focused on our employees' well-being and their training. We also have very ambitious targets on the environmental part. We try to be climate neutral by 2050, and also we are, um, we are looking at the circular economy. This is something that we are already implementing on the lead acid business, as we have a very large recycling facility from the lead and this lead is actually fueling our production in Xanti. And also, of course, we want to be completely transparent with the ESG, and by next year, we're gonna be in all the frameworks and all the indexes of the ESG. So with that, let's look at the battery project that we are at the moment uh, working on, on the lithium ion cells. And this is a European battery innovation project, which has been awarded to the company last year. And this has a 105 million euros budget and is an important project of common European interest. And this, is, uh, has, this project has as a main deliverable a prototype line, a 200 megawatt hours lithium ion cell pilot line. This pilot line will be built in northern Greece, and it's including the building infrastructure, all the equipment, head, all the human resources, as well as all the startup capital. From these 105 million, almost 50 million is funded by the European Union. So, what is the significance of this? So, first of all, it's uh, the only pilot line in uh, Southeast Europe that's being planned, it's being designed. It's one of the few ones that are gonna be produced in European, in European soil. And also, uh, it will develop innovative lithium technology that is focusing exclusively to the market where we are, market segments where we are currently very active. This is the industrial mobility and also uh, energy storage systems for renewable energy. So the pilot line is always going to focus on the LFP prismatic cells. Uh, these cells are uh, different sizes, but we are always going to look at um, industrial mobility cells, which are, let's say, cells around 100 ampere hours, and then energy storage system cells, which are a little slightly larger, between 200 to 300 ampere hours. So, for the company, the importance is, of course, massive in the sense that um, if we look one of our products, uh, the cost segment of the cell to this product is often above 50%. It's between 50 and 70%. So of course, when you have such a large chunk of your cost on one component that you source at the moment externally, it's very important that we develop in-house our own capabilities of manufacturing and designing such products, A, so we can understand what we are buying and are we on the state of the art, and B, we can also hone in lithium cell manufacturing and design expertise. So um, this, we hope that we transform the company slowly to a cutting edge technology company and not so much a, com a commodity production company, and also it will allow us to fulfill our ESG commitment targets. So, what is the implementation of this project? So, 
as we said, the prototype line is going to be operational in uh, next year, in 2023. And you're all invited to visit us by next year when we hopefully we're going to have this building that you can see there. This is a 10,000 square meter building that includes the pilot line plus laboratories, logistics and offices. And this is already in the design phase has concluded. We are on the licensing progress. progress. The environmental, the construction license has been applied and we expect it to be concluded by end of the year. The equipment for the 200 megawatt hours um, uh, line is already ordered and we are in the finalization of the design of the equipment and all of the manufacturing process. The EPC team is already assembled. So with that, I'd like to thank you for your time. And Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you very much indeed for that whistle-stop tour. I keep saying that phrase, but I know people are cramming a lot of information into a short period of time. So you can see these recorded sessions again if you want to catch up on them after the event. With that